Hey, Chris here. So when you finally finish producing your podcast episode and it's time to encode it into an MP3 file, because the MP3 file is the file that you're going to publish everywhere, uh, you would think that all MP3s are encoded equally, but that's actually not true. So they're, you know, the different software and the different apps we use to produce podcasts, some of them offer like almost like a quality slider on encoding your MP3. And okay, I have to say first off, this makes no sense to me because an MP3, as we know, is already a compressed file. So as an audio producer, I want my MP3 file encoded as best as possible. But some of these encoders, they'll give you a choice. Do you want it? Do you want the MP3 file encoded really quickly? And then the quality is going to be worse. Or do you want it encoded slowly? And then the audio quality is better. The answer to anyone should be, or to, the answer to everyone should be, I want it encoded slower at a better audio quality. That, I mean, to me, that's a no-brainer, but I don't know. I guess some people, they want to encode it really fast. I mean, they can't wait an extra five seconds of encoding time. They just really want to get this thing done, and it makes no sense. Don't ever do that. So whatever app you're using to create your MP3, you should definitely check out, do they offer like a quality slider? So I'm going to show you a couple of these. Let's first look at an app I use called Twisted Wave, and I do not encode my MP3s here, but check this out. If you go to File, uh, Save As, and then you click here, we're going to save it as an MP3. So let's, like, basically we're pretending like we're creating an MP3, right? And then if you click on here, the kilobits per second, okay, it's a mono, let's say it's a mono file, so I'll choose 64. Um, but look at this encoding quality oh we're given a choice from zero best to nine fastest and they re and they default to four that's incredible so if you ever if you ever have a choice like this you do not want fastest this is going to make your mp3 sound absolutely horrible if you want to try it just try it just as a test but you should always choose the best quality, the best audio quality. Because like I said before, the difference in time of encoding is probably like five or 10 seconds. So it just, to me, this makes no sense. So you would choose best and you would encode it that way. Um, another app that gives you a choice is actually Reaper. In Reaper, when you go to render... Um, here's where you choose the file. So let's choose MP3. And now here we go. Look, gives you a choice of quality, slow to the fastest encode. Now here it defaults to slow, which is great. So a lot of the, that's the good thing about a lot of these applications that give you a choice, they will default to slow, which is really good. Um, isotope. A lot of us use Isotope RX. Uh, they, d they don't even give you a choice. <laughs> they just encode it at the highest possible quality because they know that's what makes sense, right? Like you want your MP3 to sound good. You spent all this time recording good audio, mixing it down, using your processors and plugins, and now all of a sudden at the last second, you're going to ruin it? No, don't do that. So anyway, that's the message for today. Let's leave it at that. Don't forget, you can listen to my podcast engineering show, the audio podcast. You can sign up for daily goodie emails, which are little tips and tricks at podcastengineeringschool.com. And that's also where you can see the full course that we offer, where we teach people how to be professional podcast producers, work from home, and earn a great living doing it. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to like and subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.